All right, this is Dominique, and um, this video is to go over the method by which to um, to add top stories uh, in the sidebar. Uh, I know there was um, a request for some means by which to add the uh, VA in the news, like you know the top stories or whatever stories about the VA that's that are currently in the news to the VA Insider blog. So this is just a uh, a quick overview of how to work on that. Um, uh, so the first, uh, yeah, I'm, first I'm going to go over how to add the add a widget because that's what we're technically going to be doing is adding a widget um, to the sidebar, and that's just like a little placeholder for what we're going to add into the widget, which is going to be links to the stories of VA in the news. So, uh, in order to add a widget, you have to first you got to be you know you got your dashboard here, go down to appearance, and then Go to widgets, appearance, widgets, and now on our uh, on our blog we um, we actually use oh there's my cat yeah, now do you too uh, we we actually use the one this one called sidebar section default and um, if you can see there's a list of widgets in here um, this one is a text editor uh, it's the big button big red button top. Oh, I'm so typical. And we got um, This Week in History, Search, Categories, uh, this one is a text editor, there's something in there. Submit a guest post, and this is for social media. And these are news releases. So those are like press releases that we're doing. And But we want to add VA in the news, I believe. So, um, these over here are all the widgets. These are available widgets. And if you scroll down here, there was one that I think would probably work best for you guys. Uh, here, it's called a visual editor. Um, so you grab it, just click on it, and drag it over where you want it. Um, for now, I'm gonna put it up, uh, or down here below news releases. So now you got this visual editor. It's kind of like, <coughs> a little bit like Microsoft Word. It's got all these little formatting options and whatnot. So you gotta give it a title. So we call it VA in the news, we could change that later uh, to whatever you want. Um, nope, don't need that. All right, now um, you gotta figure out like what kind of format you want it in. So I'm assuming a bulleted list, perhaps. But you know, we could change that if you want. Um, now I'm just gonna do top stories. You can add more uh, if you want to, but for now this is what we're doing. I'm gonna highlight this, copy it and paste it. Okay, so that was not very hard at all. Um, just kind of copy it and paste it. But you notice, this is actually the hyperlink, and the hyperlink says hashtag WAPO. Well, you know, that's not a very good hyperlink, right? But technically, it is because it links to, it's a link to another spot within the document. So like, if you look, open up the um, PDF version of this, um, that up a little bit. if you click it, it just pulls you, we're still in the same document, but we're down here. Because down here is where the uh, the anchor tag for um, Washington for this story is. It's called hashtag WAPO. So we're not gonna, we don't want that link. That's not a good link. Um, but right here is a hyperlink to above. Unfortunately, in uh, in this uh, version of Adobe Reader, um, I'm not able to get the hyperlink out of the PDF version. Um, so that's why I was starting off with the Word document. I just wanted to show you that, that that link right there needs to be changed. So here is the correct link. Right click it, copy the hyperlink, and then go in here to edit, paste it, and push apply. Done. On to the next one. Now this one's from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, right? Uh, yep. Left click it and then copy the text. Control C. Go over here, control V. Great. And now we see that the uh, link says hashtag WSJ. Well, it's not what we want, so we're going to right click this link, copy the hyperlink, go over here, control A, control B. Good. And that thing's done. So, on to the next one. Third story is from military.com. House to vote on major overhaul for private care option. 
Sounds interesting. Somebody should read it. Let's copy it. Come over here and paste it. Notice, hashtag milcom. We're not going to keep that because that does not sound like a link to the story. So we're right-clicking, copy this hyperlink, edit, control V. Yep, private care option, HTML, looks good. Ah, okay, so sometimes it does that and I'm not really sure why. So we're going to just delete that. Let's click, click, maybe click somewhere in the middle before you edit the hyperlink. I don't know why it does that. Control V again, okay, and now it's good. Sorry. Better that you see me screw it up so you know how to fix it. Um, all right, next we're on to the spokesman review. VA officials hold grand opening Monday in Spokane. Ah, that's where I was born. That helps homeless vets. Okay, cool. That sounds like it's awesome, so let's copy it. Control C, over here, Control V, spokesman review. Oh, I thought there was an extra space there. I guess not. All right. SR, it doesn't sound like it will work, so let's right click it, copy the hyperlink, edit this hyperlink, and control V for paste, apply, and that should do it. So now we have a bulleted list for the sidebar. It's titled VA in the news, and we'll let us first let's see what it looks like without it. VA in VA WW www.insider.va.gov. All right, so here's what it looks like now. Whoever's doing this week in history is kicking some butt on these graphics. Um, so we got search VA Insider, categories, how to submit a guest post, VA social, news releases, and something's got to go in here, right? Well, we got something for that. Let's go ahead and save it. Cool, and now we can close it. Close and let's open up a new version of the insider. DAWW.insider.va.gov. Cool. And load it up. Big red button. This week in history. VA in the news. Here we are. Washington Post. Let's see what happens when we click it. Let's take us there. Boom. Washington Post. Let's go back. What about the Wall Street Journal? Let's click it. And click. Cool. Wall Street Journal. You gotta subscribe to read that whole story though. Um military.com. Awesome. Uh oh. No ads. Alright. Well, all four of the top stories are on there, and it appears that they are all functional, um, except for this one's taking a while. Spokesman review. Cool. No, oh, that one's working too. All right. Go back here, and that's VA in the news. Um, I'm not sure why the spacing is so so small on that one. Not really a whole lot we can do about it. I don't think. I'm gonna open it up and see if we can. Kind of formatting options, formats, paragraph. These are list items. This is a public list. One thing we can tell is that uh, our our little bullets aren't showing up, unfortunately. Mm. Oh well. We really do a lot about that. Formats, headings, commands, blocks. Um, yeah, well, that's basically going to be that. We can probably change the size of the fonts if you want. Um, you know, it's a lot of bold. Yeah, font sizes. I'm not really sure what size font we're using right now. We can change it to like 10. Nope. It's too small. So, whatever. If you don't like the font size, you can change it. Close. I didn't save it. Nope. 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 Go away. All right. That's gonna be that, I guess. Um, if you need to modify it a little bit, that's fine. Uh, 
to work on that. But pretty much that should cover it. It's you know it's on there, and um, we just need to update the links, and that should be that. Let me know if you have questions.